Hello again and welcome to Cisco Baltic Edition. Today I want to talk to you about a fairly new solution from Cisco relating to Unified Communications. The Cisco Unified Communications Manager Business Edition 6000. The new and I would argue revolutionary thing about this solution is that it is a superb solution for any organization that is looking to build a technical unified communications platform. In this video I will talk about some limitations of the BE6K but I will also talk about what you can do with the solution. But first let's talk about the limitations. The BE6K is designed for an organization with 1000 or less employees. That means that the solution addresses approximately 99.9% of the market and that's it. Those were the limitations. From here on it's all about what we've been able at Cisco's side to squeeze in. But before we start talking about all the cool features that are included, let's take two steps back and talk a little bit about the technical architecture and how the solution fits into the big ICT landscape of a company, both technically and commercially. And to do that, let's dive into the wonderfully complex world of managing an ICT portfolio from an IT manager's perspective. Let's start by examining a very likely scenario of a mid-sized company. It is very likely that a mid-sized company already has a number of ICT solutions deployed that the company has purchased throughout the years. And many of these solutions are not bad solutions per se. In fact, it, it is very likely that they serve a perfectly good purpose. That said, it is also very likely that these solutions form impenetrable technical communication silos and that these solutions are provided by different service providers. Does this sound familiar to you? To me at least. What this means in practical terms is that many companies out there are struggling to utilize technology as tools for supporting their business. I mean, they have standalone solutions, but they're finding it very, very difficult to make these solutions work as one. Also, it is very likely that these companies are not paying attention to the overall cost of having a wide range of different solutions in place. I am of course talking about maintenance fees, uh, support fees, licenses and the added hassle of having to support many different applications internally. And this is where the Cisco BE6K enters the game. With the BE6K, an organization is able to establish a unified platform for almost any future ne communications needs and use this platform as the backend on which future solutions can be deployed once the existing service contracts end. Let me give an example of how a company might use the BE6K in consolidating its IT infrastructure. For the sake of clarity, I'm using a scenario where I'm assuming that the customer has 1000 employees. You can of course apply this to your own company size if you want to. Well anyways, this is what I often find when I talk to companies out there. On the left there, you can see the different services that are normally deployed from an audio conferencing to an instant messaging and PNCM telephony perspective. So let's say that this particular company is in the process of refreshing their existing video endpoints. What they're able to do is to have these endpoints register on the BE6K. Now, this will give the organization the ability to make normal full HD video conferencing as the BE6K comes stacked with a full set of needed server licenses. You just choose how many video endpoints you would like to have and then add the number of needed endpoint licenses. To be honest, it is actually this simple. Now, there are three bundled starter pack offerings that you need to be aware of. The first one is something we call a starter pack video bridge. Any organization is, that is deploying a BE6K is able to buy a video bridge at a really low price and this video bridge comes stacked with two HD ports. Now, the video bridge can later be expanded based on whatever need you might have, so don't worry about the two ports. The second starter pack offering is around instant messaging and presence. The BE6K is stacked with completely free of charge licenses for instant messaging and presence. This means that by deploying a BE6K, you get an instant messaging client for all your employees, everyone. And here's the great thing. This IM client works on Windows, Mac, iPhones, iPads and Android devices. As an employee, you can have an IM client, for example, on your PC and one on your Samsung smartphone at no cost at all. The third starter pack offering is around enabling key people within the organization with true unified communications features. Anyone deploying a BE6K has the right to add 25 feature-rich licenses at an extremely affordable starter pack price. 
Now, these 25 lucky ones will be able to get IP telephony on either a soft phone, mobile phone, desktop phone, or just one of these, or all of these. In addition, they will also get HD video on a soft phone or on a, or, or on a personal video endpoint, and they will get HD video quality web conferencing with included free voice or IP. By utilizing the starter pack offerings, a company that deploys a limited number of video endpoints, in my example, eight video endpoints, suddenly has the following setup. They have 1,000 people using IM on any device. They will have 1,000 people with the ability to take part in web conferencing using HD video quality and free voice over IP on any device. 25 people using personal HD video calling and PSTN telephony on any device. And the ability to arrange multipoint video conferencing on the video bridge. Once you have this platform in place, you can then start planning for the future consolidation of your ICT portfolio. The first thing you can start is to start planning the migration of your aging PBX to the Cisco solution and move the number of people you want onto the Cisco platform. And remember, you only pay for the licenses you need. There is no need to pay for users that do not need unified communications features. The second thing you can do is to start planning for the shutdown of your existing audio conference service. As the audio part on, on the web conference side is free and everybody is able to join and take part using their IAM clients, you don't need your traditional audio conferencing. There's no need for complicated dial-in or dial-back thingies either. The third and final thing you need to do is to listen to your organization and add people and features to the communications platform as needed. And remember, you only pay for the licenses you need. Now, here's the best part. The licenses needed are perpetual. You do not have to reinvest in licenses every three years. They're yours, forever, and ever, and ever. <laughs> and you only pay for the licenses you need. Wait, did I just say that? Okay, with that, I hope you found this video really uh, useful. Stay tuned for more videos from Cisco Baltic Edition. Thanks for watching.